equity in healthcare is is um, is always been an important issue, and in the, from the standpoint of of artificial intelligence, it is an, an area that I think AI can bring much to bear, but there are many traps in which um, machine learning and artificial intelligence can fall prey to the same problems that people outside of this area have, 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 have had. One wants to know what is the best decision for my patient. And that decision may be different when uh, for a patient who is um, comes from a low socioeconomic status, it may be different for a patient that comes of uh, African American descent, uh, somebody who is female, someone who is transgendered. And in light of that, how can you, for these patients, devise um, really tailored, personalized therapies that ensure that they get equitable care? This machine learning is, I, I like to use it as like a a kind of a, a sharp knife, right? Like it's a tool that can be extremely useful if used properly, but you can cut yourself really badly if you don't know what to do. So in some ways, again, like one thing that I really, really want people to realize that there is no magic in this. And in particular, whenever you state an objective, like whenever you say, oh, like I want my model to do X, we need to be very careful. Like what do we exactly mean by X? Because if there is a room for, you know, misspecification or underspecification, in some ways mod models seem to always kind of abuse it. When we're working in machine learning, there are some things that are coming up in a healthcare context because they're obvious. The fact that a model needs to be robust, it has to work across multiple hospitals. Well, that's obvious. The fact that it has to be private, it can't disclose too much user information, right? That's obvious in a health setting, but also fair because you don't want a model that only works on white patients. That's also obvious, but these are real problems in every space that machine learning touches. So there are things we'll have to deal with, generalizability, robustness, performance in subgroups, privacy. We should be dealing with these things everywhere machine learning is. It's just obvious why we need to tackle them in healthcare right now. One of the big problems with health equity is that um, so far, you know, there are many of our studies for generating data on patients uh, have not been as ethnically diverse as they could be or as socioeconomically diverse. Uh, all of us is uh, one of the largest studies that the NIH has ever funded. It's an effort to recruit one million or more Americans uh, from ethnically and uh, socioeconomically diverse populations. Uh, follow them for decades, uh, you know, do genome sequencing on them, uh, collect full medical records, do lots of other high resolution uh, assays, uh, and really develop a, a research cohort for the 21st century. To have the privilege to uh, learn from our patients' data, I mean, and also to have the calmness and peace uh, that is, you know, necessary to answer and ask these questions that we may even find, uh, you know, unintended outcomes where we are not being unfair to any population is very humbling. And so uh, what, um, you know, what I'm excited about is to share with other people uh, sort of what they're seeing from their population, their work, what are they, how are they approaching, um, you know, operationalizing fairness, which is really our interest. We are in this learning mode and I can only be grateful for the institution that where we work and our collaborators and our patients who allow us to learn from them.